Howdy folks, Uncle Sasquatch and Jake. In our last video we talked about the Smith & Wesson Model 19 K-Frame and we talked about some of its shortcomings as far as being uh, not only rough on the gun itself but rough on the shooter shooting a lot of hot 357 Magnum loads. Matter of fact, one of my viewers uh, commented that he had to send his Smith & Wesson 19 back to Smith with a crack forcing cone. So to overcome that shortcoming in 1981, Smith & Wesson introduced the Model 586, which retained the same grip frame as the Model 19, but they made it a whole lot beefier in the frame area, designated it the L-frame. This gun was made continuous production until 1998, and then there was a limited run of seven shots in 2005, and they reintroduced it in 2012 in their Classic Line series. So you can still get one of these guns, but it does not have the old hammer-mounted firing pin. And there's some other changes in it. Of course, it's going to have a lock on it now. And as you can probably see here when I get uh, situated around Jake here, to show you the cylinder is a whole lot beefier on the... 586 than it is on the Model 19. So it's a heavier gun. It also has a full barrel shroud and or ejector rod shroud, whereas the 19 stops there. It gives it a little more weight at the muzzle. It's still very pointable, but it helps control that uh, recoil from your full house 357 Magnum loads. This one is uh, got the target hammer, target trigger, wide outline rear side, and red ramp front, which uh, are some of the more desirable features in a collector's uh, standpoint. Now, this does not have the uh, recessed cylinder and the pinned barrel like this Model 19 does. It's still got the recessed cylinders. I don't know how well you can see that, but it also has a pin in the barrel right there. And they get done away with those things, uh, regretfully, to make a less expensive product. But this 586, fine handgun. I've had this thing probably about, oh, I'd say 24 years. Picked it up in a pawn shop second hand in great condition for I think it was $220. I mean it was a steal. And I've kept it and that's one gun that I'll probably always keep because I love the thing. Thanks for watching the videos. Keep your powder dry. Mind you top not pilgrim.